Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how to in install Anaconda for Python as well as Jupyter Notebook. So first, you would want to Google Anaconda Python and come to this website. Next, click on Download. And then, for Windows, click on the 64-bit graphical installer. And then, install it in into any folder that you want to... And then, uh, save it into just your download folder. Afterwards, you can open up the folder and then run the installer. It is recommended that you install in the same uh, hard disk that you have installed your OS. Then after this, you just click next. And since you see that I already installed uh, Anaconda, so I won't be showing you what happened next. Uh, but basically, you can just let it install. Then after that, uh, it will be installed on your computer. Afterwards, if you want to open up Jupyter to play around first, you can just uh, open your Windows like, like the like on the Windows button, uh, then you can just open up and then search for Jupyter Notebook. Then it will open up a new tab in your in your uh, default browser. That's all for me. See you during our uh, Python workshop. Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to download Anaconda as well as Jupyter Notebook for the Mac. So um, first things first, you need to go into your browser, so any browser will do. Just go into Google and Google Anaconda Python, right? And on the first link you should be able to see the Anaconda website. Uh, of course, you don't have to use Google, you could just type in anaconda.com and then it will take you to this website already. Uh, just click the little download button at the their home page and down here you would see for mac os the graphical installer just click this and then it will begin its download so we'll just wait and give it some time for it to complete downloading right so after the download is complete you would see in your download folder there will be this little package you'll be prompted with the uh, this notification just click continue and then here's the installer for anaconda just click continue all the way Agree. So actually at this point you can uh, see roughly where my cursor is kind of hovering over There's this button that says change install location Which allows you to change the location in which you install Anaconda And uh, basically the folder that Anaconda will be stored in uh, It's okay if you just don't bother with that If not it will just should, it should um, For Mac it should save into the default folder which is the applications folder uh, So unless you want to change it to a different slot Which I don't really recommend I think um, yeah, it's fine to just skip the, it's fine to not worry about that, but it's just something you want to take note if you want to change the install location. Okay, then just click install. So, uh, just let the thing, key in your password or whatever, let the thing install it into your folder. Yeah, so we'll just let it install. So once your Anaconda has finished installing, you'll be presented with this step, um, which allows, uh, it's an optional step, which allows you to download more stuff. Uh, this PyCharm ID IDE step, uh, it's okay for now, you can skip it. And then that's it for Anaconda, they will tell you that it's been successfully installed. So you can close the installer, and uh, you'll be given an option to move the installer into the bin or keep it. Uh, you don't really need an installer anymore, so it's fine to just move it into the bin. Right, so now that you have done all the steps needed to install Anaconda, all you have to do is just go into the folder which you've installed Anaconda in. For me, it will be in the Applications folder, and just wait for the thing to start up. This will be how we'll be accessing Jupyter Notebook. So once the thing has started up, we'll be able to see that there's this Jupyter Notebook option over here. Just click Launch, and Jupyter Notebook will start up. So for example, if let's say you want to open a certain notebook, right? Uh, for example, for this course, if you downloaded the uh, notebook for this course, all you have to do is just go to the folder in which you have saved the notebook in. For example, in the Downloads folder, just click on the notebook that you have downloaded. And it will open up, and there we go. That's all you. That's all you need to do to open a Jupyter notebook. Uh, one last thing, maybe you would, uh, for Mac users, when you've opened up Jupyter notebook, you might notice that your terminal is open. Uh, it's okay. All you need to do, if you want to close this terminal, all you have to do is just click Control, Control, not Command, Control C, and then as you shut down this notebook in the server, all you have to do is tap in Y. Yeah, so if you do that, you will notice that your Jupyter Notebook has, uh, yeah, 
will start to uh, start to experience an error. It's okay, just close everything, and then everything will be shut down as as necessary. Yeah, so that's all you need to know. Uh, that's all you need to know for uh, setting up Anaconda and Jupyter Notebook. We really look forward to seeing you in the course. Thank you.